here from the Daly City Department of Library and Recreation Services are here to bring you on an adventure. Join us as some of your favorite librarians and wrecking crew bring you a virtual story time, projects, activities, crafts, recipes, and other fun things related to our theme. This week's theme is Dive in the Summer. All right, today's joke, you ready? Ooh, is there a lifeguard? Might need one. What does the ocean say to the beach? <laughs> Nothing, it just waved. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's make some waves and dive on in for another adventure. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Amy from Daly City Public Library. Welcome to Rec and Reading. Thank you for joining us today. This week is Dive into Summer. So I am going to read Hooray for Fish by Lucy Cousins with permission from Candlewick Press. Hello, I am a little fish swimming in the sea. I have lots of fishy friends. Come along with me. Hello, hello, hello fish. Red, blue, and yellow fish. Hello spotty fish, stripey fish, happy fish, gripey fish. One, two, three. How many can you see? Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. Hello, Ella fish, Shelly fish, hello, hairy fish, scary fish, I fish, shy fish, fly fish, sky fish. Hello, fat and thin fish, hello, twin fin fin fish, curly whirly, twisty twirly, upside down, round and round. So many friends, so many fish. Splosh, splash, splish. But where's the one I love the best, even more than all the rest? Hello, Mom. Hello, little fish. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Hooray for fish. Hi Rick and Reading, my name is Cherry and today we're going to be making a crab puppet inspired by this week's theme, Dive Into Summer. So for your supplies today, you're going to print out a template provided in the description, a large popsicle stick, a piece of white paper, a pair of scissors, some wet glue, and a sharpie. So for your first step, you're going to cut out all the pieces from the template. After you cut out all of your parts, you're going to cut the circle pincers in half and then glue them onto the front legs. Next, you're going to trace the circle for the eyes onto the white paper, cut them out, and then glue it onto the eye stalks. Now you're going to fold the back legs accordion style. Now you're going to glue all of the body parts onto the main body. Your last step is to fold the body over, but don't crease it, and then glue the popsicle stick under the body. And that's how you make your crab puppet. Thanks for watching! sing a song about fish. So we're going to go like this and pretend that we're fish swimming in the water and then make bubbles with our hands and then make a big splash by clapping over our head. And we'll start with the blue fish. 
One little blue fish swimming in the water. One little blue fish swimming in the water. One little blue fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 splash. And now we have a yellow fish. One little yellow fish swimming in the water. One little yellow fish swimming in the water. One little yellow fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 splash. Our next fish is a red fish. One little red fish swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 splash. And our last fish is an orange fish. One little orange fish swimming in the water. One little orange fish swimming in the water. One little orange fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 splash. Thank you. Hi everybody, it's Chevy with Daily City Rec. This week for a dive into summer, we're going to make a coral painting inspired by Hooray for Fish by Lucy Cousin. For this sponge painting, you're going to need a sponge, some brushes, some paints, a cup of water, and your canvas. The first thing we're going to want to do is put a light blue at the top of the painting. Now with a drop of turquoise, blend it with the light blue that you just used. With your new paint, go ahead and create the rest of the water and try to do a wave-like motion to create the ripple effect. With the shade of brown that you like, go ahead and paint the sand at the bottom of the water. If you don't like the color of the sand you have, go ahead and add a little bit of yellow to it to brighten it up. And now for the fun part, go ahead and get your red, yellow, and whites and create shades of orange and pink that you like. Now with the colors that you've just mixed, go ahead and get your sponge and dip it in so you can stamp it onto your painting. Now coral reefs grow in different directions. For the reefs I did, mine are pointier. You can make them in any shape you like and any color. Now for the final touch, we're gonna add some white foam at the line. I hope you enjoyed this coral reef painting and you have a great day. Hey Recreating, it's me Zets and this is Ariane and welcome to Dive in the Summer. Today for Dive in the Summer's recipe, we're gonna bring you not one, not two, but three recipes. First, I'm gonna teach you how to cook boba. Second, we're gonna make our own strawberry horchata. And third, we're gonna make those cinnamon twisty thingies like at Taco Bell. Thank you, TikTok. I finally found out how to do it at home. Today's recipes were actually inspired by Jabari Jumps by Gaia Cornwall. I was really inspired to try something new after reading this children's book. It was kind of cool. A kid is trying to be brave and jump off a diving board for the first time all by himself. I'm like, you know what? There's a couple things in this world I haven't done, so let's try some new stuff too. All right, you ready to make a mess? Let's make a mess. Step one for our boba drink, we're gonna cut strawberries and it's tiny, tiny, tiny cubes so we can use them in our boba drink to fill in with the boba. 10 cups of water in the pot and I'm gonna start it boiling while she's cutting the straw bellies. So to the boiling water, we're gonna add about a cup of boba to the boiling water. So after the boba is cooked at medium level heat, after sitting in the water for five minutes, turn it off, five more minutes. Now you're gonna scoop them out, put them in with the strawberries. You could use simple syrup, brown sugar, white sugar, stevia, but I thought to go with agave today. And once it's all mixed up, put a lid on it, set it aside. All right, now we're gonna be making horchata. You need a blender two cups of rice, two cinnamon sticks, four cups of water that I let soak overnight. We're gonna use a nut milk bag to drain our mixture. So this is about two pounds of strawberries with two cups of cold water. And we're gonna add about a quarter cup of sugar. Instead of the sugar, I'm just gonna continue to use the agave.
All right, now that we've made and mixed everything, and we have to add uh, about another quarter cup of agave nectar because three out of the four taste testers says it needed to be sweeter. I'm not gonna add any more than that because we're also still gonna be adding the agave nectar that's in with the boba and the strawberries. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator and we're gonna start making our wannabe Taco Bell twists. Now we're gonna be making our wannabe Taco Bell twisty things. So what I have here, of course they covered it, but these are pretty much pellets that you throw into the hot fry oil and they go whoosh and they turn into those crispy Taco Bell things. I got these on Amazon, only because of that lady on TikTok that said stop frying your pasta. That's not what it is. But, so we have this, we're gonna heat our oil to 350 degrees, and then we'll be ready to fry these. But we also need to make our cinnamon sugar mixture. So for that, I have a little spin on it because you know that's what we do here. We're gonna do about one and a half cups white sugar. And we're just gonna give a little extra for just cause. One half cup brown sugar. This is my spin on it. Cinnamon, 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 what's this called? Cinnamon sugar. What she said. <laughs> and we're gonna add one teaspoon salt. salt. Then you're gonna get a glove on. You're gonna use your fingers and combine it all together. All right, looks like our oil is getting hot and it's at temperature. So we are going to be uh, frying in our little twist. Threw one in to test it, make sure the oil is hot, puffs up, pull it out of the oil, and we're gonna just add about a half a cup of them into the oil. Spread them around. Don't wanna put too many because it will heat your oil off. This might be where the grown-up steps in. Oi, 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 ah, oi. Once they're fried, take them out, throw them in our little cinnamon sugar. That's so good. Oh. All right. Now it's time to put it all together. Let's first start with our boba strawberries on the bottom. Then we gotta do ice, right? All right, there you have it. This is our boba horchata summer delight. You can stir it. You just went straight for the boba. It's delicious. Is it really? Thumbs up? All right, everybody. That's it for now. Make sure to stay safe and have fun. Well, that wraps up this venture for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Special thanks to our librarians, wrecking crew, and special guests who joined us on this adventure. If you try any of these projects, make sure to share and tag us on Instagram at Daily City Rec so we can see all your goodness. Now do us a favor, if you have not already subscribed, please make sure to do so, then like and share this video with all your friends and your family. That's it for now, until next time, make sure to stay safe and 